Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man Progress series. In the last episode, we didn't really do much in terms of stats as we were mostly gearing up for the fight caves. But this episode is going to be geared more around getting some of the much needed upgrades around the game. Uh, if we pull up our goals list here, we will be able to see that... We finished off quite a fair bit so far, you know, we've, we've got a decent chunk into it considering we're on episode 4. Uh, and today we're going to be aiming for the stash tile in the top right hand corner there. So we want to be able to make our master stash unit for the Slayer, Helm, Dragon Battle Axe and Dragon Defender. And passively on the way we will unlock the 77 construction for the Rune Crossbow and the Mitre stash. Uh, apart from that, we did try a bit of corrupt gauntlet but it just was not going too well so we're going to swerve that for a little while um i don't know whether it's because i'm just not very good at the mechanic side of the gauntlet yet or whether it is more you know down to our stats and our levels so we'll get a few more before we go back in and try that again it could just be a mechanics thing so we'll get a couple more normal gauntlet under our belt first uh, apart from the construction of the episode today, we'll have a few other upgrades. Um, I won't tell you what they are, uh, but we will definitely be making some waves today, so that'll be good. Um, yeah, with that said, our CC is live and bustling, so if you've not had a chance yet and you are watching the episode and you're not in a clan, come and join us. If you head into the little clan settings in the bottom left of your inventory, Click the green smiley faces and type in MVPs uh, with a Z. You will be able to come in and join us. Uh, one of the guys will happily let you in and let you apply to the clan if I'm not around. Uh, lots of nice guys. Um, you know, you don't have to be a UIM to join at all. But if you are a UIM and you have a lot of stupid questions to ask, feel free to come in and ask them as I do every single day uh so yeah apart from that i'll be live once this episode goes up and yeah come and join me over there twitch.tv forward slash uimvp and we'll have a good time we'll listen to some tunes and we'll crack on with whatever we're doing bear in mind there may be spoilers if you join the cc or if you join the twitch uh there's also a discord linked in the description of every video but apart from that let's get the episode started let's go gonna start the episode off by death piling a little bit and restructuring our bag we've got a few herbs in there that we're just going to quickly convert into potions to add to our existing stacks once we've got that we'll probably end up getting a herb sack just to collect all of the random little bits of herbs that get dropped during our little slayer grind um but for now we'll just make these we'll add them to our little stack because we had a few runners and fewer it's like it's not much but we're going to use it so we can give ourselves some extra spaces in the bag and in the inventory just to give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room while we do actually have a few grinds coming up and there it is we hit 71 herb law and we ended up with a few extra potions but we'll just add them to the bag uh, and that'll be us uh, we're going to get cracking on with a bit of slayer now so I've got a range level coming in here 72 range uh hellhounds task at the minute and ranging them with a bone crossbow means it's going to take like two three hours maybe to complete but you know it's all right i'm chilling i've got editing on the last video to do uh yeah should be nice and easy to actually uphold this and there's 75 hit points coming in in the same clip so yeah, we're going to crack on, get this done, just AFK a little bit, and then we will probably move on to a little bit of something else. Trolls task completed. Uh, it's one of my least favorite tasks. They don't really drop all that much. Um, but for our prayer gear at the minute, we had to steal the monk's robes, which isn't ideal. It's not hard to get, but it makes me want to go and get proselyte so we can store it in the house and just use that. So that might be on the horizon. Missed the level, but there is 54 Slayer. I think that's the first one of the video. So I won't record them all, but as it's the first one, it lets us know where we are starting. Bit weird, but I decided that we didn't quite have enough points to be as flexible with Slayer as I wanted. So we have done like 40 something Turial tasks or Spree tasks, should I say, because that's the one we were going to, uh, and got up to 99. So we're going to go and try and get a 
Konar task. Hopefully, it's not a bad one. Okay, here we go, Konar. 133 Dagonoth in the lighthouse. Uh, I don't really like killing them in the lighthouse because it's got both attack styles. I don't know how we'll fare with that, but we've only got 90 points, so we can't really... Uh, yeah, sod it. Hellhounds in the Karum said... Oh, that's even worse. That's even worse. Okay. Last skip. We'll have to do whatever this one is. Cal fight. Okay. We'll do that one. That's nice and easy. Feel really bad for spending them points now. Literally just teleported away then and realized I was very close to a strength level. So there you go. A little bit of guard killing and 75 strength. Nice, nice level. This one here should be the last cal fight of the task. Boom. 450 reward points. That's a lot nicer. We've got a lot more room for skips for crappier tasks. Uh, so yeah. Very happy we did that. It might have been a bit of a waste of time, but we really did need the Slayer points. We were we were really pushing our luck with some of the tasks. We didn't want to get stuck with like Steel Dragons or something and then skip it into Iron Dragons. So 480 points at the minute. Let's us unlock our Slayer Helm when we get there. We are one level away. Uh, probably after we unlock it, whatever task that is, we might just go and camp out a Black Mask and see how long it takes us hopefully not too long though i have seen a melee safe spot that i do want to try out uh we need to do run deal and what's the other one uh i can never remember what the other one is so we need to do rum deal and the other quest whenever i find it it's in here somewhere am i an idiot no cabin fever there we go sorry cabin fever oh we need to do pirates treasure as well imagine doing song of the elves before you've even done pirates treasure what kind of account is this uh so yeah that little brain fart out of the way we do have a few things to get on with and do but that is problem for a later time uh gonna crack on with a little bit of thieving i think uh just get ourselves some cash money to play about with small little social break to come and celebrate our friend tom's maxim party there he is taking him a, a long time as it does to max an account he's finally done he can finally play the game well done mate uh he's also talking about starting a series so keep an eye out when that starts i might link it to everyone uh so you can all watch him learn to pvm uh skiller to pvm let's go so we're back here uh we've got our usual foot pedal setup so we're just gonna chill here i don't know until when we might shoot for 99 we might not uh but we want to do a bit of construction so there's a pet well yeah <laughs> um uh what was i saying Hold on. So, sorry. I uh, had to take a quick little mind break. Um, yeah, we're back here because we want the money for a construction grind as our house just really doesn't cut the biscuit at the minute. Uh, so, we're going to stay here. I don't know if we'll go for 99, but we're definitely going to get a couple of mil under our belt. Uh, we've got a level coming in here, which is 95. So, we'll keep on see how far we want to go with it uh it's quite easy to just sit here and foot pedal so i don't know whether we'll go for 99 it's definitely something we want to knock out maybe this episode maybe next episode and just get it out of the way uh get our first 99 on the bag they might start rolling in then who knows gonna voice over this one because it was on stream so i was playing some uh non-youtube friendly music but we got ourselves 96 thieving uh, again, another shout out to the Twitch. Come and give us a follow. Come and have a look. Uh, come see what we're up to and keep us entertained on the grind. Because uh, it can be quite gross. But I think we might end up leaving it there. And might go and get ourselves set up for a bit of mahogany homes. We've still got the points for a plank sack. So we just need to pop some steel bars in the blast furnace. And 
I think we'll be good to go. Uh, obviously, we've got Prif unlocked now, so we'll be doing the Prif Teaks method, which I will show you when I am not voicing over a stream clip. Uh, I've got a clip recorded of in-game footage for that. But uh, a few more Twitch clips here because it was quite a long stream. First level of the grind coming in. Here is 71 construction. Uh, we're going to aim for probably about 80 to 83, somewhere between there. Called in some reinforcements to take care of this dragon impling here. He's here now, our boy, no help. Good luck, good luck. Hmm, glories. Very nice. 72 construction. 73! One more. And 74. Got halfway to bloody Nada before I realised that we, that actually was 1,700 total coming in off that 74 construction. Uh, so, yeah, Pogs in the comments for 1,700 total. You know the score. Yeah, we're getting up there in levels. It isn't quite a newbie account anymore. I mean, it still is, but we're getting there. So, I completely just didn't get a clip for 75. However, here is a little screenshot of us getting it from the Discord bot. So, yeah, 75 construction. We're halfway to 76, so we'll get it eventually. Where am I going? Yeah, Discord is pretty good. It's got bots that shows when you get some loot drops, when you get some level ups. It's pretty good. So come and join the Discord if you fancy. Invite link is in the description. This isn't a level, but there's not a lot to show on this grind. So this one here will be 500 contacts completed, which is nice. Look at that, 500. With a total of 901 points. That is so unsatisfying. But with that said, here's 76 construction. Yes, I'd love a cuppa. And 77 construction, which is the level that we need for the elite stash unit for the rune crossbow. So that is a pretty nice to get. Uh, we won't have to boost for that, so we will be able to make any of the elite stashes that we need to. Uh, the only one I can think of us doing is the one for a rune crossbow and a mitre. So as soon as we get a mitre, uh, we'll be able to go and get a rune crossbow and store it when we don't need. I think you also have climbing boots in there, but I mean, they're 12 GP, so it doesn't matter too much. And coming in here, we should have 78 construction. Another milestone coming in. This is 600 contacts completed. And this is what we do to fill up our plank site. We come over to Prif through the spirit tree. We make some teak planks. Try not to disturb the woodcutters at the double trees. So we'll just chill at the single tree sometime. We have a nice AFK. It's like five minutes of being able to actually relax. We'll get a mostly full inventory of teak planks, fill up our sack. And the other four spaces, we will get steel bars from the Blast Furnace. Uh, and that is basically our reset method. So it's a lot nicer than what we were doing with the Oak Planks back before Song of the Elves in Season 1. Uh, it's a lot nicer. The XP per hour is not massively different, to be honest. Uh, it's still pretty dumb slow, but at least it's a nice AFK with the Teak Trees instead of the Oak Trees going down and having to run across the map and... Yeah, it's a lot nicer of a grind, but I'll be back in two seconds once we finish this one because there is 79 construction. Uh, pretty bored, not going to lie to you. So probably only going to go to 80 and that'll be us done. Just got 700 contracts done. That'll probably be our last milestone. And coming in here, whenever I get there, 128 contracts done today so this has taken us about three days to get from 70 to 80 uh pulled some big hour days but there it is 80 construction don't know if we can get much oh no we can build al altars at level 80 so that's nice we can build them without boosting uh scrying okay the rest of it's not important but that is our technical grind done uh, we can now plus five boost and use the crystal store to build our stash units. So I think we're going to go and crack on and get that done straight away. It's not too late. It's only quarter past 11. So, wait, I hope I've got a cat. Do I have a cat? Just dumped our excess money into bonds. So we're going to grab some out. 
And yeah, we did have a cat, so don't worry. Uh, it took us a little while, but we're going to run up to the Warriors Guild and go and see if we can get this boost there. Uh, because we've not exactly got anything in our house at the minute, so it's easier for us to just go and do it where we need to. This is the last one of our third full inventory. Just going to try and wait for our boost to go. Okay, there it is. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So this stash unit will let us store a Slayer Helmet, Dragon Defender, and Dragon Battle Axe, I think it is. Um, so we can't exactly fill it yet. We'll need to do like Legends Quest and all that sort of stuff. Um, and get a Dragon Defender. But at least that's one of them done. Uh, I don't know if there's many others that we want to go and do right now. But one's enough. This is the main one. So we need to do heroes, which means we need to do Dragon Slayer. I've been putting this off because I wanted to do a Slayer grind without getting Dragon Tasks. And starting that quest means we will get them. So I don't know. We might just get our Slayer Helm and our Defender and they keep it on us until we finish our Slayer grind. Actually, I might log out. I'm just going to go quickly look at the stash units. So there were no more stash units, but there were some upgrades we wanted to do in the house that require a higher construction level. Oh, God damn it. So we've been hopping to keep our boost every 12 seconds while getting mahogany planks. And we're going to make that, which is 84. Oh, which one was the big one? 82. Not this one. Uh, 78. Which one was the big one? Was it the Cape Rat? No, it's level 72. What did I need that boost for? Let's hop anyway. I definitely needed it for something. One second. Back with a fresh set of mahogany planks. We did drop one more level. Uh, so I'm hoping we didn't need 86. But let's build this. Uh, nope, wrong one. Shit. Number three. Upgrade fancy dress box. That was only level 80. Toy box. You have to remove a toy box? That's annoying. Yes. Ah. Why is that such a high level? Uh, we, well, we dropped that level, so we can't exactly build this. So let's just build the crappy one. I don't see us really needing the upgraded one. We'll get it eventually, but not right now. Uh, this one we could build with a gold leaf, but I don't think we're going to do that. This one, I think, is like a marble block or something. No, another gold leaf. Uh, that's the highest, and that's the highest. So, Oh, and that's the highest. So at least these. The clue stash is big. Being able to store all the tiers of clues is pretty nice. Uh, not that I expect to get any of these anytime soon, uh, but at least for the hard clues that we do, it'll be nice to actually be able to store our pieces and start keeping them in together because as soon as we can get a full blessed dragon eyed set or any of that will be better uh so a few upgrades we want to make uh we want to upgrade the altar i don't know if we can get a higher one uh want to make a mounted dig site we want to get the pool obviously uh so we've built our second room here we want to get the ring which is 85 which i think you need another plus five boost for so that'll be annoying to get. And we want a spirit tree, but we don't have the farming level to build it. But we definitely want to go for this fairy ring now because that'll be super nice. Uh, and the pool, obviously. Yeah, we can build the first one, but we can build all the way up to the fancy one, the restyle one. However, it's the stamina potions that are going to put a bit of a hold in that. So... I think I might get in touch with some friends and see if we can do some top boosts. Uh, just get past bloat. Shouldn't be too difficult. I don't even think my account would need to go in the room. But that obviously we need to get 10 stamina potions from there. So that all depends on whether I do that or whether we get our herblor up. But herblor is pretty close. So it'll be either or. Got a bit of cash and we're going to build ourselves the achievement gallery is it called? Yeah, achievement gallery. Uh, which is where we will be able to make the jewelry box. Oh, we need to move that and rotate that. Hold on. Uh, viewer, that one. Rotate twice, one time. That'll do. 
So this will be able to make ourselves... I always end up making this, but I never end up using it. And this is kind of irrelevant now that you can get it all in your little brown star tab thing. But we might end up building one of them just to populate the room. And this is the main man right here. This is what we want to do. Um, but that'll probably not be this episode. I might have to cut it short. I do have a an appointment to get to tomorrow. Ooh. Not going to read the name out. Uh, but congrats, Lixie, on 75, Brett. So upgrading our altar, as I did say before, to the limestone altar. It might get us a little bit more XP when we sacrifice the bones. Uh, we're going to build the little burners at the side, but I don't see us ever really using them. Uh, yeah, those are the ones we want. So I don't see us ever really lighting them just to sacrifice like 10 bones from a slayer task. But yeah, that's that. Uh, and let's build ourselves the first jewelry box. The second one takes a little bit more work, so that will probably be the next episode. But this is super nice for now. Birthorp and Tears of Guthix. Actually, let's go do our Tears of Guthix. Treat ourselves right there. On second thought, we're going to leave it till next episode. I've got something important to do. Uh, so we're going to have to cut it short. I will be putting out an episode next week and the week after. So it means you don't have to wait two weeks. We'll have them just a little bit shorter. Uh, but in this episode, we managed to get 96 thieving, which is pretty nice. So we'll probably finish that off. Uh, it should only take us a couple of days, really, to get 99. Uh, we also got ourselves up to 80 construction and made, started making progress on upgrades in the house. So with all that said, as per usual, I should be live just after the video goes up. However, I do have a an appointment, so I don't know how I'll be after that. Uh, but I should be live. Um, with all that said, our looting bag is about 10 and a half mil at the minute. A few random bits in the uh, 90 combat. Yeah, not much else to say. Uh, come and join the CC if you fancy hanging out with some nice guys. Uh, CC is MVPs or come and hang out in the Twitch stream. Uh, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye.